Renowned Chabad Lubavitch Rabbi Emmanuel Shochet visited Australia recently as a guest of the Rabbinical Council of Victoria. The Toronto-based rabbi and doctor of philosophy has written over 30 books and lectures extensively on Jewish ethics and theology. JNTV caught up with the rabbi while he was in Sydney, where he shared some of his views. All other religions, they are based on one individual showing up and saying he's a prophet of God. Take it or leave it. Judaism is based on a historical event, which either it happened or it did not happen. Uh, we, do not, we, we are not based on faith, on blind faith. That we claimed we had the historical experience of the revelation at Sinai, that the whole nation, not Moses, not one individual, not one group of individuals, but the whole nation, people from all walks of life, even people with all kinds of perceptions, people with people at uh, at odds with one another, people fighting one another, as Jewish history has been throughout, and specifically in biblical times, they all had the identical experience. So that is the ultimate, ultimate foundation. Once I have that foundation, that I know the authenticity of the prophecy of Moses, now I don't have to go any further. Whatever Moses says, I now know comes from God, is divine revelation. At most they will say, yes, we accept what you say about the revelation of Sinai is true. But, you know, then uh, God came and changed his mind. He gave a second edition. There's Windows 98, there's Windows 2000, there's Windows XP. So there's New Old Testament, New Testament, Newer Testament, still Newer Testament. Uh, where are you going to draw the line? Then any Tom, Dick and Harry can come and say, I had a revelation from God. Is it possible there are other revelations? Yes, but I have no, no way of knowing. That I know for sure. The rest, at best, is suspicious. And again, if I accept any one of the others, I really have to accept all the others as well. And that, of course, is logically impossible, because they're mutually exclusive. If this is true, the others are false. Finished. If it's meeting, understand each other on moral grounds, I have no problem with it. But if it's a question of discussing theological principles and exchanging, this is my understanding, and this is, explain to me where you are coming from, that is nonsense. Moreover, what you are saying in effect is that if I cannot understand you and what you believe in and what you stand for, then I cannot respect you. I say that is the best argument against interfaith dialogue. The Jewish point of view is essentially I have to respect the humanity of any other human being, regardless who he is, what he is, where he comes from, what he believes in, etc., etc. That's the foundation.